In this video, I'm skiing with a beginner skier and I'm trying to correct this jumping like technique. Since he's pretty talented, we managed to go as far as hitting these pretty big jumps. Stay tuned and see how Roger learned all of this. Hey guys, today we're out here in Logs and we're going to do something a little bit different than I've done before. We're gonna see if you can teach old snowboarders how to jump on skis. Like, how good are you at skiing? Not really good, to be honest. I, I've seen your ski technique already and like your posture is pretty decent. So I think it's good enough to learn to jump for it. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe big enough. Uh, how much have you been skiing? Like one day for, or in the last three years. Yeah, that's good. And in your life, you, you're Swiss, so you grew up skiing, I guess. That's true. Yeah, but uh, your jumping is, I hope, not very good. So you got something to work with. Hey, Roger, before we go hitting them jumps, we're gonna have a bit of warm up. This is to reduce the risk of injury. Just a little one. All right, he's dropping. Wow, not bad. I think we're gonna have some fun today. All right, let's have a look at your jump here. It was pretty good, first of all. A good speed, nice confidence. Now, let's try to find some flaws in it so you can fix it okay. and make it better. So in the in run, go back a little bit here. I think you're sitting down a little bit too much in the in run here. Okay. Is it? You don't need to sink down so deep to have a good pop. Because okay. then you that can make you more back seated. Here, where the toes are leaving the kicker, your legs should be completely straight. That's gonna help you not just jump higher, which is cool, but also tip forward so that you hit the landing perfectly perpendicular, which you almost are. You land a wee bit tail heavy. We got two things to work on, the position running into the jump and the timing. The timing's a little off. Yeah. So we are gonna find a flat spot and we're gonna try popping in our ski boots and with the skis on and we're gonna work on that timing a little bit. Then we're gonna come back to these jumps and see if it's any better. Okay, cool. Sweet, let's hit it. So what I'd like you to do, is just like string yourself up, sink down in the ski boot. This position is what you have when you're skiing already. You have a really nice skiing position. So this is all you need to do as you approach the jump. You could keep your hands also a little bit further in the front. And then from here, you just go, like you can't jump very high, but the important bit is that you use the whole motion and that you tighten the ass on the top. So you go, have a try. But you don't need so much down. Nice. Try with a bit more power. So just go. All right, you can go a little bit down maybe. But just a little bit. Again. That's okay. Uh, that much I think is fine for you to go down. Okay. Tell you to be strict with this, just to avoid it. But that was pretty good. Now, we're gonna work on this and your timing in one go. Sometimes I have people jump over a pole, but now we're gonna draw lines in the snow, and I want you, when the toes hit the line, that's where I want you to be in this position where you pull the, tight to the ass and you're taking off. Hmm, <laughs> a little early. So now Roger, you were jumping here. So now I put the pole there to help you know where the line is. And here is where I want you to have fully extended your legs. Yeah, I think that was better. Timing way Pretty, better. Huh? Way better. And you're doing the whole movement. You're Look, looking like a stick. <laughs> now I'd like you to just keep them arms in the front. That would make it way nicer. Okay. Nice improvement, man. Thanks. Let's try again. Yeah. 
Let's try it two more times and then I think we go to the park. So you see how like you pop but those tails you keep dragging them. Yeah. Like you're a pretty sporty guy. I'm sure you can put much more power into it. And if you really put a lot of power into it, this hip movement is going to lift those tails off the ground and you're gonna level out nicely in the air. Okay. So you wanna try it with the skis on now? Yeah. I like that. Do that there now. And then it's close to perfect. Okay. All right. I think we're ready to start hitting some small side hits and see if you can bring this good technique to those small jumps. Let's try this one. Ooh. Let's hit it. Yeah. Oh, how was that side hit? Yeah, that felt really comfortable and good, yeah. It's feeling better right when you're really popping. Yeah. Let's try a couple or more and then let's hit the puck. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah! You sink down a tiny bit, that's absolutely fine. Arms in the front. Wow! Skis just nice leveling out, tipping forwards. That doesn't that was, look too bad, right? That was perfect. You just need a little bit more speed. And I'm so psyched about this. Cool. I'm Me uh, too. happy about your progression, man. Thanks, man. And then let's do both jumps. They're the same size. And then let's try the bigger ones. Okay, cool. Arms you pop pretty good. Down. Yeah, exactly. Good job noticing it. Just keep the arms out here. Otherwise, you are killing it, sir. I think we should try these slightly bigger jumps. So speed is more important here, so I suggest you follow me. Okay. Good job. I think you graduated from the beginner park. Thanks. And you're now ready to hit these medium uh, jumps behind us. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, the important thing here is to do the exact same thing. Don't be scared because these jumps are much better built and the impact on the landing is going to be less. So feel safe and do the same. Okay, so I just follow you again? Yeah, okay, stay cool. close. When you follow someone into a jump, it's important that you do it on the side. So when the person in front crashes, they have a chance to get away. Your first run down these bigger jumps. Wow, really good job. But you were a little bit stick-like. <laughs> stick I felt that, yes. Yeah. Just relax, keep them here, and it's gonna help you get even better balance, and you're in a good position later on for learning spins or grabs. So, that was really nicely done. I like how you kept the arms in the front, you looked relaxed, you hit the landings nicely. So normally I'd let you try this over and over and over and over, you get really used to it. But since I know you're a bit of a crazy dude, I think we'll go for these uh, pretty big jumps. Uh, the good news is that the first jump is about uh, just slightly bigger than the last one we just did. And then they get bigger and bigger. Here is extra important that you follow me close. So did you feel my speed. And here you don't have to rush the pop like BAM! You can take it a little bit easier. I want you to do the whole movement, but you don't need to like be super explosive. Okay, let's try. Do you feel ready? Kind of. <laughs> let's do it. I sense a bit of nervousness here, which I understand because you really should practice smaller jumps over and over before increasing to this size jumps. Let's hit it. Wow, how was it? That was oh, adrenaline, <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, really nice. I love it. All right, let's try it again then. Yeah, let's do it. All right, the big jumps was a bit intense. 
True. You need to get used to the small ones and be a little less stick-like. So I thought I'd teach you how to do a mute grab on skis. Okay. Uh, so first thing, we left our pulse next to us here. And what we want to do is to just focus on lifting the left ski high and reach down and get it. You want to grab just in front of the binding. Okay. Do you want to try it while standing still? Yeah, like I take my right hand and grab the left ski. Like that. That looks... Wow, you're flexible. Wow, uh, your mute grabs well. Thanks, man. Almost too easy. Is it because you're used to grabbing your snowboard? I guess so, yeah. It's like kind of like the same movement. Yeah. yeah. And now to clean up this mute grab, or the second step, now we want to pull both our feet up. Because now the mute grab, the feet were like this, sort of. Yeah. But first, first you go for the left foot, and then you pull the right one up. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I, I grab... So in the air, you're going to be more like this compared to like that. Now we were there, and we go down here. It's gonna make you look cool. Okay, cool. Let's try it. Yeah. Well, oh, good work, man. Thanks. How was it? It felt awesome. Like yeah really light and easy mm -hmm. and comfortable not like on the big ones <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was really cool thanks for teaching me man yeah no problem thanks a lot hey wow i've never seen this guy ski before even he's told me he was a beginner i think you were a little bit better than i thought or just really talented thank you um learning to jump on skis usually takes a bit longer time than that but you know Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. The important thing is to keep trying. And speaking about trying, post a video with the hashtag I stomped it of you doing any grab you want, mute grab, safety, whatever. And have a chance to win a Merino 250 base layer, top and bottom, and a pair of ski socks from Smartwool. You always also gotta follow Smartwool Europe. You can keep these, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. So stay warm. Hey, you're welcome. Like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.